Leaders of the pro-Russian group allegedly linked to Wagner were arrested after they organized some youth to launch the group at Diabene near 2nd D. They amassed around 15 others to execute their agenda, leading to their arrest by the police. One of the suspects, Nana Finn, whose sound equipment were hired for the program, says he only got to know the details when they were arrested and locked up by the police. According to him, he was told by one of the leaders that the instruction was to organize a freedom protest to launch the group and send visuals to the Australian sponsors so they would be given more money. program to be frank, if I had known the motive for the program, I would not have rented the equipment to them. The elders would not have granted them permit to organize the program. Resident of Sekendita Krade are shocked at the turn of event. Youth are engaging themselves in a lot of organizations. And if, um, I, if I, something is recommended to me by a friend, or let's say, oh boy, let's join this thing. I will join it, even if the um, implications, negative implications, I will join it. Maybe because of peer pressure and also because of um, some benefits I'll get from it. But I was very shocked when I saw it. I've been hearing about these things far away, but now that it's really close to me, it's got me scared. And for now, I think we should all be careful as we. Meanwhile, Assemblywoman for the area, Ramatu Ibrahim, says she has made an arrangement with the Western Regional Police Command to engage the community.